Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. From this video guys, we are going to start a new playlist called MySQL Event Tutorial for Beginners. This is our first part. So inside this very first part, we will discuss about what is event and how they are useful. So first thing first, let's discuss about firstly what is MySQL event. So go to next tab. Now here are the some theoretical concept actually I have written to understand about MySQL event. So MySQL events are similar to a cron job or Linux or a task scheduler on Windows. Uh, if you have used about Linux operating system then you might have set some cron jobs on Linux. So MySQL events are just similar to that. Or if you have used about Windows operating system then this cron job is known as task scheduler on Windows. So cron job on Linux, task scheduler on Windows and MySQL event on phpMyAdmin or any MySQL server. So these are the events similar to the cron job on Linux or task scheduler on Windows. It means that they are background process. MySQL events are tasks that execute according to a specified time. Therefore, sometimes MySQL events are referred to as scheduled events. Obviously, because MySQL events are the task or a specific program which runs or executes on a specified time. We will see this concept in our upcoming videos where we will create some events and scheduled on a specific time. On that specific time actually our event should run and that event actually called as scheduled events. MySQL events are named objects which contains one or more SQL statements. They are stored in the database and executed at one or more intervals. In this statement it says that MySQL event contain one SQL command or more than one SQL command. It means that we are going to execute only a specific task or multiple tasks inside that event code. Also, we can run that scheduled event by one or more times. It means that we can make as a recurring scheduled event or one time event. So here, what is the meaning of recurring events? Recurring events that suppose we have created an event and we have scheduled that which runs every minute. So every minute automatically that event should call. So that event is called recurring scheduled event. MySQL events are also known as temporal triggers because they are triggered by time, not by DML event, events like normal triggers. In the playlist of MySQL triggers where we had seen that triggers are the specific task which basically execute on the DML operations like data manipulating, manipulating language where we had done about insert, update and delete. So there we had seen that MySQL triggers execute or triggers when we operate with the insert command, delete command as well as with the update command. So in the same way MySQL events are also triggered but this time they are not triggered with any DML operation. They triggered actually by setting some scheduled intervals. So obviously by these concepts actually we came, we came to know that these are temporal triggers which triggers on one or more intervals. It means that they are one time process or recursive process. So MySQL events are known as MySQL scheduled events because these events are triggered, triggered by time. MySQL Event Scheduler manages the scheduled and execution of events. MySQL Event Scheduler just like the Log Manager which basically manages the schedule and the execution of events. What basically it means? It means that suppose we have 100 of scheduled events which basically runs on their specified time. So MySQL events what it does, it basically manages or makes a log of every scheduled events and their specified tasks that what basically they are going to do. 
So basically, this is the slide which mean indicates that these are the very basic concept of MySQL events. So let's understand about that, how it is beneficial for us or why should we use in our MySQL. So go to next tab. So optimizing database tables, cleaning up logs, archiving or making backup data or generating complex report during off pickup time. So these are the things actually where MySQL events are beneficial. Let's understand that we have an live a live application. Inside that live application, let's say thousands of table where transaction is going on. Now inside that table, if you want to optimize, so in the day time actually, we are not able to optimize our database tables. Sometime might be it will give some error and due to those errors, all the transactions will be closed. So optimizing those database tables actually, we will make a scheduler event which basically runs or fires or will execute at night and they actually optimize our database tables. So that in the midnight, we will optimize our table and during the daytime, we will go and do all the transactions. Now the second thing about cleanup log Clean, cleaning up logs. It means that suppose we are maintaining a log history of each transaction in our database and let's say that we have now backup of let's say 30, 40 days or let's say one month, two month or three month. But if we want to suppose get rid of our past history means we want to delete our past record. So we will make a scheduler event that will make cleaning of all the logs before one month. So in that case, actually we have only one month logs. Next, archiving and making backup of data. Let's say that we have hundred of transactions each day and on those transactions, if you want to make a backup so that in the next day, we will retrieve or fetch the details of transaction. So we will make a scheduler event that make the backup of those data what we have done in the last day. Or let's say that if we want to generate our complex queries reports so that we will understand about each and every aspect of every transaction. So we will make a complex report. So that actually not possible in the daytime because might working on the daytime, it will break our transaction section. So we will make a scheduler event which basically runs on a midnight specific time and on that scheduled time, our scheduled event generate the complex reports. For example, let's say that we have made an scheduled event which basically runs 12 o'clock every Sunday midnight, which basically on executing, it will perform all the operations. So from these two slides guys, we understood that the MySQL events are the scheduled background process which basically triggers on a specific time. So by triggering our MySQL scheduled events actually, we can perform our database background process in the off peak time. So this is somewhere similar to a cron job on Linux or a task scheduler on Windows. So from the next videos, we will see that how can we create a MySQL event to our phpMyAdmin or MySQL server. So inside this, this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.